Okay, hello. For this vlog, we're going to graph, use a graphing method again for a system of two equations. We have two equations here in front of us. The first one being y equals 2x plus 1. This thrills me because it's ready to graph. I don't need to do any work to isolate y. Second one would be is negative 4x plus 2y equals 10. The second equation does need some work. Now this system is a, is a unique system or a special system, and we'll see what happens as we go through the vlog. For now, we're ready to graph both equations. The first equation said before is ready. It didn't need any isolating of y. It was a y equals equation already. And the second equation, I needed to work on isolating y. And we have negative 4x with, po with plus 2y. I need to move the 4x over. So I apply the opposite of negative 4x. I add 4x to both sides. Now I'm left with 2y equals 4x plus 10. Now we have 2y to contend with. The relationship between the 2 and the y is multiplication, so the inverse operation would be division, or the opposite, you could say. Now, as we see here, we have m equal to 2, which is the same as the other equation, which is m equal to 2. The slope, but both slopes are positive 2. Hmm. In the other vlog, I had both the same slope and the same y-intercept. This is a little different. We have um, both of the same slopes, but our y-intercepts are different. Our first equation is 0, 1. The second one is 0, 5. It means they don't cross the y-axis in the same place. Now we'll see what it looks like once we draw it out and get the full story. seems that my um, my lines are moving slowly here in the graph, the, the program here. It's okay, though. I've worked it out. This is the first line for the first equation, the intercept being positive 1 and the slope being positive 2. Oh, one thing. I forgot to label my scale. I apologize. Let me fix that. Now I can see that my scale is, um, I'm counting by ones on both the x-axis and the y-axis. This is important as we communicate. We need to know um, what we agree upon on how our graph will be labeled. Now our second equation, the slope is 2, so it's going to be up 2 over 1, rise over run. And the y-intercept is going to start at 0, 5 on the y-axis.
Okay, now we can see the purple line as well as the green line, and both lines have the same slope. They're rising in the same way. Both slopes are 2 over 1, the, but their y-intercepts are different. Therefore, the two lines are parallel, meaning that these two lines will never touch or never cross. They will never share one pair together, one ordered pair together, x and y pair. So as you can see here, the two lines are parallel. They will move in the same direction, in the same fashion together forever. They'll never touch and they'll never cross. So they will never share the same x and y pair. This system we call is inconsistent. What it means is there's also there's no solution. They'll never cross. They won't share the same space. See you next vlog. Thank you. Bye-bye.